I've got an itch I can't scratch. I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me. An open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly. Thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't wanna get lost in the sedative. Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive. You know I'm about to go off, I won't let them win. I'll take a stab, I wanna chase a bag. I wanna weigh, I can change all the things I lack. I gotta face the facts, I gotta taste and that. Got me obsessed with the rest, I got an itch to scratch. From the past, wanna escape my pain. I just wanna be a better person. I deserve this. I just wanna break these chains. I was destined for greatness. 2024 Ford Explorer EV revealed for Europe. Could it follow the Mustang Mach E to Oz? The new 2024 Ford Explorer EV has been unveiled overnight as the second model to apply a familiar badge to a new all electric offering. Following the more polarizing decision to affix a Mustang badge to an electric SUV, as expected, the new electric Ford Explorer is built on Volkswagen's flexible MEB electric architecture, forming part of the growing technology and platform alliance between Ford and VW. The new Explorer enters Ford's European lineup as a mid-size SUV, smaller than the petrol model sold in North America, making it a cross-brand companion to the Volkswagen ID.4 that will reach Australia in the coming year. Whether we'll see this new Explorer EV in Australia is unclear, Ford's local division offered no advance comment overnight, so we'll have to wait for the workday to begin before we know more. It's likely, however, that the Mustang Mach-E will be the first electric Ford passenger car to reach Australia, given we were invited to drive the car in the US last year. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head, constantly thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new Ford, for its part, has yet to confirm we'll see the Mustang Mach-E in Oz, but the fact it's sold in New Zealand is another good sign for us. Although its availability in NZ is rooted in that nation's advanced emissions requirements. A shadowy teaser picture released at the time shows the Explorer EV as the second model from the left, between the coming Ford Puma EV and a new coupe-shaped electric SUV that will again ride on a VW platform. The Mustang Mach-E sits to the right of that model. From the past, wanna escape my pain. I just wanna be a better person. I deserve this. I just wanna break these chains. I was destined for greatness. True to myself, I never fake it. See no many ones that I saw they get famous. And when I say the truth, most really Ford Europe has confirmed it will shift to an electric-only passenger vehicle lineup by 2030, with commercial vehicles to follow later. Ford's Australian arm previously confirmed it will introduce five electrified models to its range by 2025, with the e-transit first among them. An entirely electric lineup is likely much further away. The Explorer EV will be manufactured at Ford's factory in Cologne, Germany, on the same production line as the Fiesta hatchback, which was recently retired after a 47-year run.
Technical details for the new electric explorer are still to be revealed, but reports out of Europe suggest we can expect a 125kW single motor configuration at the entry level, with a 52kWh battery pack and 351km of driving range. A charging speed of 130kW is expected, well below the 230kW figure claimed for the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6 among others. Although such claims are rarely achieved consistently, further into the range will reportedly sit a 170 kW single motor model with a larger 77 kWh battery pack and a 539 km range. A Hero dual motor model will, again according to reports only, offer a dual motor all-wheel drive arrangement with 250 kW and 491 km of range. Dual motor models generally offer less range. I wanna chase a bag, I wanna weigh, I can change all the things I lack I gotta face the facts, I gotta taste and that Got me obsessed with the rest, I got an itch to scratch Other new features for a Ford model, at least in its European range, will include assisted lane change and clear exit assist, the latter alerting drivers to approaching cyclists when parked. Standard equipment encompasses a driver's massage seat, dual-zone climate control, keyless entry, and a hands-free electric tailgate. More details about the Explorer are still to come, including its price when European orders begin later this year. However, we might be able to look to the related Volkswagen ID.4 as a clue. When it reaches Australia, Volkswagen has said it will be targeting the price of a Tiguan 162 TSIR line for its up-spec ID.4 model. That car currently lists for $56,990 before on-road costs. If the ID.4 is that cheap, it'll undercut almost all its rivals, including the Tesla Model Y, Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6. From the past, won't escape my pain. I just wanna be a better person. I deserve this. I just wanna break these chains. I was destined for greatness. True to myself, I never fake it. See no many ones that I so they get famous. And when I say the truth, most really can't take it. In spite of everything I've been through, I'ma make it. Fake friends, but on my downfall is toxic. Day one started the outlaws for profit. No, all I do is write verses, no talking. All I do is put the work in, no option. This was everything I ever wanted. Created a legacy off of me, just being honest. And the fake ones hate, but it's all to no avail. They wanna see me lose, but you know I never fail.